In exactly two days from today, I will be on a flight to Mexico by myself for the next three months, who knows? And I am living out of this 55 liter backpack from Osprey. And I'm gonna show you everything that I pack for the next three months of me basically sort of living in Mexico. I'm gonna be primarily in beach towns for at least like a month and a half of it. And then the other half will be spent in cities like Guadalajara, Oaxaca City, maybe Mexico City. We're kinda gonna see how it goes. But um, yeah, in this video, I'm gonna show you everything that I pack and I'm going to do my best to not overpack like I have done in the past. So let's get into it. So to start, what am I bringing everything in? So the main bag that I have been using on all of my backpacking trips is the 55 liter Osprey Fairview bag, specifically for women. The first reason why I absolutely love it is because this backpack here actually attaches onto this. So this is a detachable day pack, which is really, really helpful for when I'm in a place. I don't need to pack like an extra pack for when if I go on hikes or if I'm going you know just around the city and I want to have something to carry my things in I'll show you how I put everything together I'm gonna to pack all of my packing cubes in this at the end of the video and I'll show you how it you know kind of looks once it's all packed up but together if this is attached I do have to check this bag I get a lot of questions about do I check this bag and yes I do if you want to get around that you can detach this and then just this backpack alone I believe is about 40 liters and you can bring this on as a carry-on bag and then use this as your personal item or just bring a different bag altogether but I'm going to be checking this bag because I also have my camera bag that I'll show you in a little bit over here and that's gonna be my personal item but let's get into all of the clothes that I am packing so I am using these three packing cubes everything that I'll be wearing for the next three months is in the, one of these I got these packing cubes well the purple one um, is not my favorite but I couldn't find the smaller one of these black ones that I got off of Amazon also linked below um, these are really great they're nice and durable um, this purple one I really don't even know where I got it I think it's one of my, my sisters or something the zippers kind of break a lot but I do recommend these the brand is bag bagel I think you can see that there but let's start with the biggest pack right here I'm not gonna fully take this apart but I'm gonna kind of show you on the screen everything so these two towels are right on top this one is my microfiber towel that I have been using forever it's amazing it's super quick dry very easy to pack up obviously you can see how little it is and then I just got this new one this is actually a beach towel that's really portable from Dock and Bay I've heard amazing things about this brand um, it's super quick dry it's 100% recycled I'm gonna be on the beach so much and and what I have been doing in the past is like when I arrive at the beach I'm just go and get like the cheapest towel I can find but this way I have one with me at all times which is really nice so in this main cube besides the towels um, the clothes that I brought I brought one pair of flowy pants one jumpsuit that I have been living in lately um, it's from some brand that I found on TikTok. I was like very targeted and I fell into the trap and bought it and I have no regrets two cute rompers that I can wear you know out and about one casual dress that I actually forgot to film. Um, let me just show you it. It's just like a short kind of backless dress that I can just throw on. It's just like a really easy sundress. You can kind of use it as a bathing suit cover up um, or just to wear it out and about. Um, I brought one maxi dress, two pairs of shorts. These two are the two that I literally wear with everything. They're super comfortable. I've had them for so long. Two of these like throw over cardigan type things. One is actually a cardigan um, that just kind of goes with everything. And then the other one is this one. I got it from Target and I love it. I literally wear it over basically bathing suits as a cover-up I wear it over a tank top if it's like a little chilly or if I just want some more coverage so I wore that a ton last time I was in Mexico I brought one sweatshirt here um, because obviously you know it's super hot in Mexico most of the time but you never know if you're gonna get a little chilly at night or if you just want to like feel more cozy so I definitely recommend bringing one of those even if it's a little warm and then I also have my pajama pants here and then I just brought a couple t-shirts that are in the next packing cube but yeah that's everything in this cube and and I know I'll wear all these a lot. The thing I'm trying to avoid this time around is packing stuff because, oh, I, I could probably wear this. No, the thing that I've started to realize on these trips is you really just end up wearing kind of the same outfits over and over again, even if you have a plethora of options. So I just really tried to think back on the last time I was in Mexico, um, earlier in 2022, and just what are the things that I wore nonstop and just eliminate the rest because yeah, you and I literally every 
single trip I've been on, I'm like, I overpacked. I did not all need all this stuff. Second cube here. These are all of like my tops basically and my workout clothes. So in this one, I brought five different tank tops, all different colors, stuff that I can just wear, throw on on a daily basis. I don't need a bra with like any of these tops, which is super nice and convenient in the warm weather. I also brought three short sleeve shirts that I can just wear around. Nice to have one pair of leggings. This was hard for me to not bring two, but I was just thinking about the last time I was in Mexico. I don't even think I wore the pair of leggings I brought once, but I am going to be doing a lot of yoga while I'm there. So I do want to just have that as an option. I brought two pairs of workout shorts. Again, I'm like, oh, maybe I should bring like three or four. I took the extra two pair out because I was just like, I just need to consolidate and I wear these two literally the most out of all of my shorts, but they go with literally all of my sports bras. So I brought two sports bras, three different workout tops, and then I think I brought two t-shirts. I wrote down one, but I think, I, oh, I did it out of bringing two. So this will be like my t-shirt that I wear to sleep probably. And then this t-shirt here, I'll probably also wear it to sleep. It's, they're both so soft, but the Yosemite one is kind of cute too. So it's just nice to have like a comfy t-shirt to throw on, maybe over bathing suit suit or whatever so that is cube number two done um and yeah i mean it's quite small which is nice this one is pretty big um but it will fit in my bag just you wait <laughs> i know some of you may not believe me but this backpack holds a good amount and then cube number three this is my smallest one and this just has all of my bikinis so i brought four different bikinis some are more just kind of like cute and then others are a little bit sturdier stuff that i can wear while i'm surfing and stuff like that i brought two hats so i have this cute little yellow you know hat with a rainbow and and then I also brought this cute little bucket hat as well. So I'm trying to protect the skin here. And then I also brought this cute little bathing suit cover up as well. And obviously this is definitely not a necessity, but I was like, it's cute. It really doesn't take up that much room. I actually have a lot of extra space in this cube. So I thought I'd bring it. I could throw like jean shorts on it. It's kind of cute outfit. And then I also have just all of my underwear, a bra, a comfy like bralette type thing as well. And then a bunch of socks. Definitely I'm not uh, holding back with the amount of undergarments that I'm bringing because I don't want to run out of those. After I go through all the toiletries that I'm bringing, I'm also going to have a section on like the miscellaneous items that I'm packing. One of the things that I'm packing in here are my workout bands. So I have a couple in here of different resistances um, and this just helps kind of motivate me to stay active even though I'm definitely going to be going to a lot of workout classes because that's some of my favorite things to do, especially in Mexico. The yoga and workout scene there is really great among digital nomads. And then I also have, this is a random thing, um, but this is like a cloth bag I will probably use this as my like beach bag it'll fit everything it can easily fit um, my little beach bag and then I can throw whatever else I need a hat and take it to the beach that way I'm not lugging around like my kind of ugly <laughs> Osprey bag to the beach it's also helpful if you're going shopping going to the market or something like that and you can just kind of throw everything you buy into a bag like this so definitely recommend bringing one of those okay and as for shoes I am only bringing three pairs of shoes with me to Mexico. So I was very specific and kind of picky with which ones I brought. These are all three <laughs> pairs that are new that I literally got for this trip and for future trips. We'll start with my sneakers here. These actually are not brand new. These were my mom's, but I really like them. So she wanted to get a new pair anyways. So they're really good support. And I wanted to have sneakers that would be good, obviously for working out and like walking, but also if I were to go on a hike, um, then these would also work. I have my usual Solomon hiking boots that I absolutely love, but they do take up a ton of space and I really didn't want to deal with that on this trip. So these sneakers will do the trick and I'm also always going to be wearing these when I travel. So I never have to actually put these in my backpack. So these will actually not take up any space. They'll be on my feet. And then these shoes are my most kind of practical shoes. There are these sandals that I got off of Amazon. They have really good reviews. They are super comfortable. I wanted a pair of sandals that I could walk around long distances with. I wanted ones with a back strap. So there's actually, there's like a Velcro here to put it on and off. And I wanted that because these are also waterproof. And so if I were ever going on like a waterfall hike or um, somewhere that was super rainy, these are really great to have for that and they'll work great as shower shoes so um usually what i'll do is like i'll get to a location and then i'll go find a really cheap pair of flip-flops and use that as my shower shoes but this way i'll always have them with me and i won't have to be like wasteful or whatever so these are just really 
versatile and useful so I'll keep you updated with how I'm liking them when I'm in Mexico it's the brand reef but they're also on my Amazon storefront and then as for normal everyday throw-on shoes you can see how compact these sandals are which is what I was going for but they're these just cute little sandals that I can wear you know on a daily basis slide them on they're really comfortable they go with a lot of things so these are kind of like my cute outfit although these could also potentially work I just love these because they're just they're so easy to pack so that's great okay so moving right along to toiletries I actually just got this new toiletry set for Christmas and I wanted this specific brand it's called tripped travel gear because two of my favorite travel vloggers Tim and Finn actually came out with this company and sell it on Amazon this is all linked down below my Amazon storefront and I just figured you know they've been traveling full-time you know in a backpack for years now they obviously know what we backpackers need so what I love about this is you can see kind of how compact it is it this is it in relation to my head it has this little mesh pocket in the back so if you need to access things really quickly you can so I just have some random stuff in there that I'll go through in a sec but that's the first pocket but it basically opens up like this whoop, and you can hang it up in your bathroom like this, um, which is just really convenient because on previous trips, I brought like my red makeup bag that is just like a typical makeup bag, but you have to like dig through it to find anything. And I have a good amount of stuff, so I'm just not in the mood for that. So instead of doing that, we have all of these lovely pockets that I can organize all of my things in, which is so very satisfying. So starting with the top pocket, this is kind of like my hair section. So I have this little mini wet brush that I ordered because I'm trying to be as minimalistic as possible. Um, I have two little hair bands, I have a scrunchie, I have this gold claw clip, and this is my little bag that I keep all of like my necklaces and bracelets and earrings in. And then right below it we have this mesh pocket, and this is where I keep most of my makeup brushes. I only have like three. So I have like my eyebrow brush, I have my little blush slash concealer brush, and then I have this little kabuki brush. and. I have a set of tweezers and some nail clippers and then moving right along this is the section that opens up into that mesh pocket so in here I have my face sunscreen um, this Zyrtec bottle I filled it with obviously some Zyrtec in case I am having allergies when I'm there and also some Advil so those are always great things to have just in case I brought this little tongue scraper which I've been using lately and liking it a lot it just helps with bad breath and oral hygiene all that fun stuff I have this razor and then I have this little tied to go stick which just helps if I randomly get stains or something I can just you know use that so I have that in the little mesh pocket in case I need to grab it really quickly and then in here this mesh pocket um, it's split up into two little sections here so in here I have this little thing of Vaseline because my lips get very chapped and I'm addicted to Vaseline I have this toothbrush that I don't know how I feel about it yet but it is really nice so I might just keep it as a backup but it just folds really nice and compact and then you open it like this the only reason I don't love it is because like it really easily just like bends like you really if you're brushing your teeth a lot of times it just bends like this but I think I'm just gonna keep it as a backup but I may go get um, a usual like a normal toothbrush with a cover and then a little tiny thing of toothpaste as well and then this is a little bougie but I've been kind of into my skincare lately and this vitamin C serum I've been using it like twice a day for the last month and I really like it it kind of just brightens your skin makes you a little glowy and then it actually over time helps to reduce dark marks on your face made from the Sun so I'll be in the Sun a lot so I feel like that's gonna be really nice um, I have this chapstick with SPF from Sunbum and I have some lavender essential oils which are a must for me on my trips because you know every time I come into like a new hostel or Airbnb or whatever I just like to throw this around the room especially like in my sheets and it just makes it nice and relaxing sets the mood and then that leaves us with the bottom clear section where's where I keep all of my makeup there's not too much in here I literally just brought the essentials so I like that it's clear because I don't have to go searching for everything but the main things I brought I brought this tinted moisturizer it has SPF 30 in it it is a little bit thick for my liking I really hate foundation but I want to like make sure I'm protecting my skin so what I do usually is I'll just mix it with either my moisturizer or sunscreen and it just helps to make it not so like foundation-y and then I have all of my other main makeup items like bronzer powder a little thing of blush mascara and just 
my go-to lipstick that I literally have been using for like six years. I'm obsessed with it. But yeah, that's about it for the main toiletry bag. Um, and then in this clear bag that also came with the trip travel gear set, um, I'm not bringing this through uh, security. This is gonna be in my checked backpack, but it is really nice to, you know, on future trips, if I am bringing this through security, you just pull this out and this has like all of my liquids in it. So that's just really nice to have. But in here I have my shampoo and conditioner. I'm using these um, little like silicone shampoo and conditioner holders and they're really nice and sturdy. I've been like squeezing them to make sure they're not gonna explode because that would be so annoying. I just like put my existing conditioner and shampoo into this. I have my deodorant. I have my face wash that I absolutely love and this is obviously like pretty small but like a little goes a long way and I love this stuff. It also came with this moisturizer as well which I haven't used before. I'm sure it's great because I love this brand but my main moisturizer that I have been using is this one from Youth to the People which is actually a really nice brand. Shout out to my cousin for getting this for me for Christmas. I just want to make sure I had like a good moisturizer because I'm going to be in the sun a lot and um, yeah my skin skin's kind of dry but that is everything that I'm bringing I do need to go get some body wash that is one thing I don't have yet uh, so yeah I'm gonna be going to Walmart today and getting that but there's clearly some room in here so no worries on that end okay so this is my final bag that I will be wearing quite a bit this is my fanny pack I highly recommend anyone who's traveling to get a fanny pack or something that is just really easy to throw and it has a lot of pockets this is where I keep all of my essential items so I'll always throw my phone in here um, and when I'm, I'm traveling especially this they don't really care if you have this they don't count it as like a personal item or anything like that so I'll just like throw it on my my person and I'll put my phone in here um, I have my passport a pair of sunglasses some chewing gum this spray hand sanitizer this is actually some barely any cash but some <laughs> Mexican pesos that I had left over from my last trip and then in this pocket Malky my airpods and some chapstick and then there's also like a secret pocket inside back here which was where I'll probably keep my cash and then there's also another pocket here um, that will be always pressed up against your chest when you're wearing it but yeah highly recommend getting one of these I have this linked in my Amazon and then we have my trusty camera bag my pride and joy couldn't live without her um, this is the brevity jumper I'm absolutely obsessed with it so I've been using this for the last eight nine months and I absolutely love it have zero complaints I wasn't planning on going through this fully because this isn't really super relevant to the average backpacker traveler because I do you know vlog for YouTube I work remotely full-time so I have a lot of things in here that aren't like super necessary for everyone but if you guys are interested in what I pack let me know in the comments and like this video and I can include it in a future video but what I do want to go through in this section is kind of the miscellaneous items that I'm bringing that are really helpful just to have um, you know if you're traveling full-time for an extended period of time like me so one thing that I always bring is a little notebook I'm usually working on my computer but it is nice sometimes to just have like a physical notebook to write ideas down in if I'm on like a zoom meeting and I want to take notes and I can write in here. Um, I actually have like basically filled this up to the brim. So I am going to get another notebook today at the store. Um, I also, this is the first time I'm bringing this. I just got this for Christmas as well. This is the Kindle Paperwhite. You know, when I'm traveling, it's really nice to be able to relax in a way that's not like being on my computer, watching a show or like going on my phone because it's literally what I do all day, every day. But I also don't want to be like lugging books around. I have no room for that. I don't want to have the extra weight. So having a Kindle is gonna be so nice when I'm on the beach, I can just lay out, have a book, it'll be great. I'm also bringing this JBL speaker that I literally have brought on all of my travels because obviously it's super small, but it's so nice to be able to play music, you know, if I'm working out outside or at the beach and I just wanna set the vibes. Having a speaker is a must, so I love this one. I'm also bringing a little flashlight, which is just really convenient to have just random situations if I'm on a hike or if I happen to be out and like need a flashlight, I don't know, I just feel like it'll be good to have. So. I'm bringing one of this. I mean, it's super small, so might as well. This is another thing that I'm definitely bringing. I had this in the trailer, and I think I traveled around like Costa Rica and Puerto Rico with this, but it's a little like extension cord. Um, the cord is like fairly long, but what I love about it is it has all of these different outlets that I can use. So there's like little USB here and then just normal plugs. This is just really helpful, um, you know, if there's only like one plug available at the hostel that I'm in or at a cafe that I'm working at, I can just plug it in and then plug in all of my mini chargers and <laughs> fun things. So yeah 
definitely um, excited to bring this. I'm also bringing a portable phone charger. This one is from Zbeck, which is an amazing brand. Highly recommend. Always just nice precaution to have a external portable charger so that, you know, in case my phone dies and or I'm not getting to a charger in time, I never want to really be without service if I'm traveling solo. So yeah, this is just great to have. Another thing I bring on all of my travels is a little padlock. If you're staying in hostels, this is a must. Not all hostels provide these locks. Sometimes they'll have them for purchase, but it's just nice to have your own. And this is just to lock up all of your stuff in the locker that they give you. So yeah, bring one of these. And of course, I have to bring a water bottle on all my travels that is a given but this one is not just any water bottle this is the grail filtering water bottle and i'm obsessed with this i literally have been wanting one for so long basically this is a filtering water bottle that literally filters out 99.99 percent of bacteria viruses like you can literally scoop this out of like a puddle in the road and filter it and it would be fine not that i want to do that but this is just going to be a really great peace of mind if i'm in an area of mexico that may not have the best drinking water. Um, I could just filter everything through this and just feel really good about it and hopefully not get sick while I'm there. So I'll keep you posted on my experience with this, but I am so excited about this bottle. I'm debating putting stickers all over it because this is my usual water bottle. And as you can see, I have decorated the hell out of it. So I may need to keep the trend up with this one, but maybe I'll get like international stickers because these are all like domestic stickers from like Great Smoky Mountains, Yosemite, Shenandoah. So this will be maybe my, my international water bottle. So yeah, this is my other necessity that I'm bringing. And then a couple like, they're not totally necessary, but I personally love them. Um, my go-tos, we got Liquid IV. I personally don't know how I have lived without them in the past. They are amazing hydration multipliers and they taste amazing. So my favorite flavor is strawberry, but I also have these little mocktail flavors as well that are really good. So I'm bringing this whole bag and this is just really helpful if you're in a really hot place at the beach like I'm gonna be. I also love using these when I'm hiking or if I'm in like really high elevation. I also always have one when I'm on the plane or after I've been flying because you just get really dehydrated. And if you've been drinking a lot or you're about to drink a lot these are amazing hangover cures and i'm also bringing my ag1 by athletic greens i actually been using these um for the last like month and a half every single day not these packs these are the travel packs you basically just put a scoop of this in a glass of water in the morning or whenever and it gives you literally all of your greens your vitamins your supplements that you need throughout the day so this has been making me feel really good it makes me really less bloated and it actually helps with my energy levels hello it's Krazy from the future. Um, just a few more miscellaneous items that I just got from Walmart that I wanted to share. Number one, wet wipes. You never know when you're gonna need them, but they always come in handy. Earplugs. These are a must, especially if you're staying in hostels. So make sure you have some of these on hand. I got another thing of sunscreen. I'm always gonna be on the beach a ton and I just have that little thing of face sunscreen. So this will be really necessary on the beach. And then last but not least, we have some Dramamine, AKA motion sickness pills. These are just really good to have if you're prone to motion sickness, which I'm actually not really, but I have had some very <laughs> close calls in some of the car rides and bus rides in Latin America. So just wanna have this just in case. So now the fun part is we get to put all of this into my backpack. Let's do it. So the trick I've learned with this specific backpack is what I used to do is like open it all the way up, stuff the cubes in and then zip it up. But the best way to go about it is you kind of zip it up like a third of the way and then you stuff the big cube in like this way um, and it just like smushes down a lot easier and then you can kind of zip it up as you go but I am gonna open it first because this is the section right here this mesh section is where I'm gonna put all of my shoes so let's get started This is great. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. I have air tags. You can see this here attached to the zipper pocket. Um, and I also have an air tag in my camera bag. And this just will be really helpful and nice if I were to lose my luggage or like misplace my camera bag or whatever. Just wanna like check on it. Um, I can track these on my phone. That fit so nice. Okay, damn. That was so much easier than normal. You don't understand. I'm usually like sitting on this thing to get everything fit in here. That was so easy. Oh my God. So now I will usually grab my detachable day pack and this is where I'll put my toiletries in. So I have the liquid IV and AG1 in here in my plastic bags. So all I really need to put in now is the toiletries. 
Oh my god, this was the easiest thing of my whole life. What in the world? Now to attach it, you've got these zippers right here that attach to the zipper on the back of the of the day pack. So you just zip it up, it's really easy. Perfect. So we got it all on here. And then the last step is you just get these little buckles, get in there, tighten it up. And she's ready to go. Um, one thing I also love about this backpack is that on the back here, this is the mode that I will put it in when I'm checking it. So when I'm putting it on like the belt or checking it to the person at the counter, if you have a lot of like straps and stuff hanging out of this, they'll oftentimes make you check it with like the wheelchairs or like the strollers and like the non actual luggage pieces. That's why this zipper piece is so key. But when you're actually walking around with it on your back, you just have to unzip this piece and then you have like the normal straps here and then you just stuff this thing. I'll just roll it up and stuff it in the box. Bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on because I feel like it's gonna be so much lighter than normal and I'm so excited. Oh my god. This is literally so not heavy at all. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Look at this. Hello. I'm so happy. Okay, this is so much less <laughs> heavy than normal. And then basically what I'll do is when I'm actually like at the airport, I'll have my camera bag. Actually, no, first I'll have my fanny pack. I'll have, usually put this on before I put my backpack on. So I'll have my fanny pack on like this, and then I will put this on my front. And I look like this. <laughs> I look totally ridiculous, but it's just part of the vibes. But obviously like I get to the airport and I'll check it, so then I'm just carrying this around. And then obviously when I'm like walking to my hostel and I walk in and I'm like, hello everyone, here I am with all of my things. That is how I pack my bag for this trip. Make sure to like this video if you found it helpful and don't forget to subscribe because I am planning on documenting like this entire solo travel through Mexico experience, really in depth, really raw, really honest, just really showing what it's like to do this. And I hope you'll follow along for the journey. So make sure to comment down below if there's anything else that you're curious about, whether it's packing or just travel or the experience in general. And I'll be sure to include it in a future video. But as always, thank you so, so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!